So I've had a lot of people ask me about why they don't get 300 DPI images with Topaz Gigapixel or Topaz Photo AI. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually set this up for 300 DPI. And then I'm also gonna try and explain very briefly why that doesn't even matter in the first place, but I'm gonna try and just offer a solution either way. So the way it works is I've got this image here. I've got it set to scale at 6X. So that means I'm gonna be able to take the resolution of this file down up from say 1024 by 1024 up to over 6,000 by 6,000. But when I save this image, if I open it up in an image editor or something, the file reads 72 DPI. So if I wanna have that reading at 300 DPI, you need to understand first that 300 DPI or any DPI reading is totally dependent on the size of the print. So if I go here to resize mode and change it to width or height, doesn't really matter which one, I can change the where it says here output width from pixels to say inches or centimeters or anything like that. Inches is going to be the easiest for us to understand. And then we have pixels per unit, so px per inch. So this is DPI because instead of dots per inch, we're going pixels per inch, which is the same thing essentially when we print. So you can see here, I've actually got 300. So I can make this 72. So at the moment, we've got something here, which is 20 inches. If I make this 72 inches, it's only scaling it by 1.44 times. So that means we're actually not getting that much of a bigger image. If I scale it by 300 DPI, we're getting six times. So what I need to do is let's say I want to print this file at 15 inches by 15 inches. I just simply put in here 15 inches and it will scale it to the right size at 300 DPI, or I can even knock it up to 400 if I want to. So essentially by going to width and height and adding in the size in inches, or even if you put in centimeters or anything like that, I could go to centimeters, still have pixels per, per inch. So I can see there's DPI and apply the same thing. So if I save this image, this is my image here. And if I go to my properties and details, we can see the image is 4,500 pixels by 4,500 pixels. And it says 300 DPI by 300 DPI. But let's just look at something else for a second. So now we're back in Topaz Gigapixel. And what happens if I turn this scale off completely and I go 6X, I get a bigger image. So the image is higher resolution. When I save that image, and now we come down and we've got the same settings side by side. You'll notice the dimensions on the 300 DPI image are lower than the 72 DPI image. So why is it that this one is actually a high resolution image but has a lower DPI? Because this DPI would be showing a completely different measurement. If I was to open this up, these up in Adobe Photoshop, this is the image that we simply use the 6X scale for. Now this is the image that we 6 x and you'll notice it says 72 DPI. So the height and width are 85 inches. That's pretty big. So it makes you wonder then, like if I open up the other image, this one is the 300 DPI image, yet it's only 15 by 15 inches. So it's actually saying that it's a high resolution file when I look at the, the DPI, despite the fact that the width and the height is a tiny fraction of the other one. This is because 300 DPI or 300 pixels per inch, which is the same thing, is dependent on the print size. You can see here, these are the dimensions, 4,500 by 4,500. If I change this to 30, all of a sudden it's 9,000 by 9,000 because the pixel resolution is the only resolution which actually affects the image. The rest is then, I've doubled the size of this, but if I take it back to 150 DPI, all of a sudden the resolution is back to 4,500 by 4,500. So using DP, the DPI reading of a file to determine the DPI is actually pretty useless. We're better off working out the actual size in inches and then timing, timesing that by 300. So if I've got a 10 inch by 10 inch print I wanna create and I want it to be 300 DPI, I need to then times the 10 inches by 10 inches by 300. So I get 3,000 pixels by 3000 pixels. And that is a 300 DPI image at 10 inches by 10 inches. If I wanna make it 20 inches at 300 DPI, I then need to do the same again to make it 6000 by 6000 pixels. So the idea of using the DPI reading in an image is actually just confusing most people. And I don't even think you need to know that. But 
That is why it's really good if I head back in Topaz Gigapixel is I can set the width and the height, although the height will just scale proportionally. I can set the actual print size I am intending on printing and the pixel units there to upscale to that size. So that is something to consider if you're gonna be trying to reach 300 DPI with your images. Just note that if you're taking an image, regardless of its DPI reading and printing it at a certain size in Adobe Illustrator or InDesign, it's automatically gonna change the DPI to suit regardless of what the actual file says. And if you're using Topaz Photo AI, I can go under the upscaling section here and find those same options by changing the resolution drop down here to inch or inches or centimeters. So I'll go, go centimeters and you see we have pixels per centimeter. So I need to change it to inches to get pixels per inch. So I make it 300 pixels per inch, which is 300 DPI. And then I choose my size in inches here. The other thing is if you want to work in centimeters, after you've typed in your 300 pixels per inch, you can now change that to centimeters and it will convert it to the correct pixels or dots per centimeter measurement there as well. So if you're looking for 300 DPI images that actually read as 300 DPI, find out what size you want to print these images at and then use this area here, convert it to centimeters or inches so you can actually pop that 300 DPI reading in. Same with Topaz Gigapixel. So I hope that's helped you guys figure out how this works a bit better. I'm going to be doing a video explaining DPI a bit more in depth so we can better understand how it works. But hopefully for now, that gets you uh, over the line. So thanks for watching the video. If you found it useful, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.